Hey, we've got the Super Allergy Cookbook author and her three delightful, adorable children. And what we're going to give you a little quick demonstration is how to make your own acceptable candy. Today, the candy we're making is chocolate candy. And so you're going to start with a kind of chocolate chip or chocolate that you can tolerate. These are Enjoy Life Foods chocolate chips. And what I've got is I've got one bowl melted, and I'm just going to give you, go ahead, you guys can get started with yours, and I'll give you yours in a minute. You put a bowl of chocolate chips, this is about a half a cup, in the microwave for about 20 to 25 seconds. It's not going to look too melted, but it actually is starting to melt. So then you want to take it out, you're going to stir it around again, and then put it back in the microwave for a few seconds to melt it completely. using plastic chocolate molds which you can get at Joann's, Michael's or your kitchen specialty kitchen store. These are little bunny shapes. Noah's making lollipops and Luke's got a frame to make candy bars which we'll show you when we're done. This kind of mold which has got a white color is good not only for molding chocolate so you can use a clear the clear mold for chocolates but the white uh, molds you can also use for making hard candy. We're not making hard candy today, but these molds you can use for hard candy. You would simply spray them with a nonstick spray before you put the hard candy in. Okay, and you're patiently waiting. So when you take the bowl out of the microwave, you can still kind of see the shape of the chocolate chip, but as soon as you start stirring, it's nice and smooth. You don't want to put the chocolate in the microwave for very long. It takes a very short amount of time to melt this chocolate, which is gluten-free chocolate and dairy-free, egg-free, and there you go, honey. So we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll show you the finished product. Here's how we made out. We had some success and some learning experiences. This was our first time out with the candy bar mold because I had never seen one before, so it's a recent addition to our candy molds. And what we learned from that was you have to have a deep enough layer of chocolate before you start adding your, mm. your caramel and your marshmallow fluff and your pretzels and other things. But here you can see when you put enough chocolate on, you get a good little, nice little candy bar. So that was our learning experience. Our um, little lollipops came out perfectly. And I did want to also point out that you can get these fabulous little Wilton treat bags complete with tie for a professional party look. These things you're going to want to store in the refrigerator for a longer shelf life because they have a short shelf life and the chocolate will start to turn white. Um, half dip chocolate pretzels. And what are these things, kids? They are um, sun butter and rice um, butter cups. Yes. All right. So that's another thing that you can do is make like a little marshmallow cup. You can try it. Or a Reese's peanut butter cup. We just use a little mini cupcake peanut paper peanut and a muffin tin. Line with chocolate and yes. then this is sun you could put any non- peanut butter or whatever kind of filling you can have, whether can it's marshmallow fluff. It? You don't have to eat it if you don't want to. Right? I'll eat it. Okay. And and look at the inside. How is that? Can Just like a Reese's cup. Mm -hmm. And so that's your introductory little foray into homemade chocolate.